you. Well, qualifying continues tonight in week two of American Ninja Warrior, and the show's co-hosts talk about how the obstacles on the course aren't always the toughest ones for the athletes. NBC's Mark Barker has the story. Here we go. The athletes on American Ninja Warrior oh, she's got some grit to her, man. do plenty to impress the men calling the action. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Some of these obstacles when Matt and I walk out there, we're like, what in the world is no one can do this. But frequently, the demonstrations of athletic prowess are secondary. He didn't even flinch. So often, the obstacles they overcome on the course are nothing compared to what they've overcome off the course in life. I see you, Christopher. I see you, baby. That was the case last week for Christopher Harding Jones. The 17 year old suffers from sensory processing disorder. Sometimes you see the athletes surprise themselves when they get out there on the course and they do better than even they thought was possible. Jones also lost his father to lung cancer, but was inspired by dad's living wide motto. It's not about the length of your life, it's about the width of your life. Words that help Jones overcome his fears. And he's done it! To become the season's first course finisher. Akbar would look at me and go, are you crying? During runs, during the, the interviews afterwards, there were so many unbelievable stories we got to tell this year and so many awesome moments. Yes! Oh, my goodness! With more to come tonight. And he is loving that buzzer! Mark Bark, NBC News. An American Ninja Warrior airs tonight at 7 p.m. Central, followed by an all-new The Weakest Link at 10. And, Fernanda, I think that you'd be really good at this, I actually. I would not be good at this. Right, no, Josh, I, I appreciate you guys thinking yeah. that, but I would be the absolute worst. Oh, no, 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 no. I think that out of all of us, she would. Yeah, she 10 would kill seconds it. in, like, I would fall. Me too, save me, 100%. And, yeah, you would still be going, like, two to three yeah. minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I have, like, no upper body strength, and I feel like that was a lot of that. Did you see when they were, like, grabbing the stick? They did and, this like, part. That was hard. Yeah. That looked Whenever like they do, like, yeah. Yeah, the suction cups or the pegs, like you can, f like you, no, you're not even competing, but you can just kind of feel the pain that they're in. When oh, they 100%. Do that. So, yeah, I can, like, when I'm curling my hair, like, my <laughs> arm is like burning. So I'm like, like, oh, no, when I'm curling my hair. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's a live look from our Arkansas duty traffic camp. This is State Line Avenue and Texarkana. We'll be right back.